Welcome back, guys. What I'm uh, going to do today is a quick filling video because my uh, I'm out of gas for the second time on my bunker door project. It's going to be ridiculous. So today we're going to give a bit of a acknowledgement to the problem in the UK right now with fuel prices. I can't help you out if you've got a petrol car, um, but if you've got a diesel, specifically a diesel that has got a mechanical fuel injector pump, not a little electric one because I don't think they're going to make the pressure for running this stuff. I'm going to show you how I'm making black diesel for my um, 30 year old 4x4. I thought I'd, um, I'd quickly get this bit on film before I get too far into it. I wanted to make some uh, like inline filters for my waste oil. So what I've come up with, basically, because I can't find none locally, is I've got some 40mm um, PVC tube, we've got the 40mm uh, straight couplers and the screw-on um, access caps. So, you know. And then what I'm going to do is I've got these 15mm plumbing bulkhead fittings which I will drill a hole through the cap so as they can go through and then they can receive a little brass um, garden hose fitting so that means it's just my inline filters body done so all I've quickly done is uh, cut it into metre lengths, I've just done one I thought I'd quickly film this. Um, I've cut it down to metre lengths, I've sanded the inside slate, I'm not sure if that's relevant uh, using this contact cementy stuff, solvent cement, but I've done it anyway. And all I'm doing is spinning a little bit round. On there, on there. So these have got to be left for, um, I think it says 24 hours to fully like, cure. So that'll be alright. Um, can't really do nothing with them at the minute, so they can cure. I'm still doing my doors at the moment. Um, that's proven a pain in the arse. I'm using these fittings for my own like convenience basically. These are um, all fittings I had for my Mrs. Greenhouse because uh, she likes growing her own veg. So we won't tell her I've, um, I've borrowed them. All I had to do was go buy these uh, UPVC things. So um, I think it was mm, about 12, 14 pounds to build these two filters. Obviously, filter media is going to be separate, but I imagine you can fill it with anything you want really, old rags, sand, anything. What I'm thinking is using some of this um, makeup removal pads, and I've got some uh, like filter wool from my fish tank. Um, I don't use this type no more, I buy different ones. But this, they're both alright. Um, so if you can scrub aquarium water, it should be able to scrub the oil. Maybe. So, this is just ran through um, for gravity, cotton wool, and uh, some uh, filter wool from a tropical fish. Pair 
For the last week I've ran my uh, Alpha 100 Deco's Mitsubishi Japanese import um, old car on this. Uh, I've been doing it through a siphon drawn filter. I'm just changing it now to a gravity fed filter because it's gonna be it's just gonna be easier for me. I'm gonna drill out my parts cleaning tank. It's stainless steel. I'm going to put the hole an inch or so above the bottom of the tank, mainly potential water trap, because I haven't built a centrifuge yet. Wow! So. Yeah, this uh, step drill is brand new. I'm just going to burn it out. Well, at least burn out the 21 mil. But if it does does this, then okay. So, this is the filter tube I made. It's literally just um, some polyplastic pipe from your uh, B and Q. And a wad of cotton. So, what I, um, I'm going to do is just loosely place it in for the first like couple. Well, I imagine actually it might work all right if I place a, a few in like that. I did have filter wall on my last filter that I made, but um, unfortunately that's all crapped up. So this will be my inlet end. Try and remember that in a minute. Uh, for the next end, I'm going to take a wad of them and just twist them up. So, push them down the end a little bit. There's not actually any real need for this cap because this is just going to be a single filter. I was planning on putting a few of these in line and filtering it down gradually. Right, so that's it. That's the filters. That's the filter made. Doesn't need to be this long, this is just because I intend to do something else a bit later, this is just a quick solution because I'm fed up of putting like £100 of fuel in my car a week. It's bad enough using £5 electric a day without including anything done in the workshop. And that's trying to cut prices, it's disgusting. Right, quick change of plan here, um, mainly because I had them. So I decided I would add a uh, tap, mainly just because I found the bits whilst I was looking for something else. So we're going to start off with this uh, bulkhead fitting. It's not necessary really to use a bit of PTFE, but. I am trying my best not to make a mess of the floor in here. I've got a layer of screed 
in a few weeks and I'm not doing too well with the amount of oil I'm spilling. So Is that done? Uh, it better be closed. I've done that like a hell of a mess. Yes, it was closed. The hose pipe fittings I've gone with uh, brass just because it's pretty and personally I think they they grip a bit better than the plastic ones I've been using before so this stainless steel tank is gonna help me in sort of two ways whilst the oil I've got in these drums is very dry, I've only recently collected it after emptying uh, my friend's tank. It will also allow any water to settle to the bottom. Now, due to the fact I don't particularly want to screw around too much, there's me filter the drum. So this was full um, day before yesterday, but it's uh, it went in my car and it run it lovely. So we're gonna run some more. This is by no means a very fast way of filtering it. But, it is a way of not using no electricity. Like, it is a way of doing it with no electricity being spent. Because right now in England, that's a, becoming a sore subject. And it's just... It's going to be not sustainable soon. Right, and that is it. Right, there's a way to put this. That's it now, just got to leave it for a bit. So this has been uh, maybe 10 minutes we'll call it, to begin. Uh, can't really show that that well. 
Can that see it? Let's bring you closer. So there it is. It's a crude setup, but if you've got an older diesel or if you've got a car, you know, that's a bit of a pig and your workhorse or whatever and you don't really care about it, then this would be alright for in there. I wouldn't recommend running it in something really nice. Um, granted, I love my cars. Uh, the only cars I've ever owned and driven are our 400 Delicas. You know, um, the one that I'm using this in is the first car I ever bought myself. And um, the car that's on my drive car, driveway is the second car I bought myself. And then there was two others which I took apart for spares. Because, uh, you know, but... It's not overly quick, and that, but this will run your car for you.